my name is Raul Ojeda, and I am a shoemaker. I work at Willie's, and I'm the head shoemaker. When I was 18 years old, a friend taught me shoe shining, and he also lent me money to start my to start my shoe shine stand. He you know, tapped me in the back and pretty much sent me in the world to be an entrepreneur. Um, when I started shining shoes, the type of clientele that I had were higher quality shoes, shoes that in my childhood I wasn't necessarily exposed to. So talking to them about the shoes and finding out brands and this and that, eventually I started to bring work from our shoe shining business to a shoe repair shop. We used to have less shoes and we were taught that you better take care of your shoes because this is all you're going to get like kids to go to school like you only have one pair of shoes for school so if you did not take care of them they wouldn't be in good shape and I think that that over time has just been abolished by having more options cheaper options to, to buy shoes so I know people today in my life who are parents who would buy shoes for ten dollars for their kids and they have thirty pair of shoes and they're not well kept. They're not really good. And they just spend $300, $400 shoe in shoes that are just not all so good. But we, we tend to have more now and care for it less. I bought this business in 07. And the real estate bubble bursted right after that. And, and we saw a different phenomenon. We saw the rediscover of shoe repair so the folks that had the money that would go and just buy another pair of expensive shoes would explore having them fixed and when you fix your shoes you realize that oh my god I can keep them in really good shape so it almost opened up an opportunity to share the kind of work that we do today talking to our clients that come into a shoe repair shop I always try to sprinkle a little bit of a bug in their ear for people to be cautious of, of how they keep their shoes on, how well can they keep their shoes. The shoes are the guy. I was like, yeah. I, I got them in a piazza in Italy. I think yeah. I got I think I got two pairs for like for 45 hundred. euros. Yeah. These are the ones that got stitching and then you have to go. Okay. So okay. the length of the stitching almost looks consistent, but it's never the same. As I've gotten older, I've gotten more away from fast fashion and into spending money on quality pieces so spending you know a couple hundred dollars on a pair of boots knowing that once the season's over I can bring them here he'll polish them he'll fix them he'll you know touch up the soles whatever needs to be happen and I'll get another good season out of them um, the riding boots the coach boots that I bought and he fixed for me I think I probably had those for like 10 years. That I'm gonna put on okay. and glue the rubber instead of the leather. Because okay. if we were to put a salt protector on top of this, right. we know that this is gonna happen again. Okay. Unfortunately, a lot of people think about directly the impact that financially or economically would have. So if you bought a pair of shoes for $100 and they were out, and to fix them will cost you more than double that, a lot of people tend not to get them fixed, but in reality, if you don't get them fixed, then you're just wasting a tremendous mm, amount of shoe, you know, because that shoe could live well until it has holes. 